In this video, you'll know how to set up a variety of ticket menus, including the simple ticket menu, categorized tickets, ticket drop down menus, form tickets, and finally, a way of getting custom branding for free by linking to another bot, which is definitely worth sticking around for. Start by going to Ticket Tool's website, which will be linked in the description below, where you can click to invite Ticket Tool, select your server, and then accept all the permissions. Then we're going to do everything on the Discord side, so that's complete. So to start, we're going to create a new category called Tickets, which is where we're going to assign our tickets to go once they're created. Then we're going to create a ticket support role. You don't have to do this, you can just set it as moderator, but I'm going to show you what we'll be doing with it later on. Finally, just make a ticket log channel and ensure it's not visible to the public, along with a public support channel that obviously everyone can see. To make our ticket panel, we're going to go ahead and click the dashboard, click manage servers and go to the server we're working on. Then click panel configs on the left and create a new panel. First go to general and on the support team roles, this is where we're going to assign who gets access to the ticket. So in this case, it's going to be your moderator role or your support team role. Then head to category and on the open category select tickets which is the one we just made. If you don't see your category click the sync button and then it should appear. Click ticket and edit ticket message and you can then alter this to whatever you want. I'm going to add my ticket support team role as a ping every time a ticket is open to help solve issues faster. Next go to transcript and select our ticket log and finally click logging and select ticket log and then all the options that you want to be logged. Usually I do it when a ticket is created and then deleted and then also when a transcript is saved. Last thing to do is head to our messages tab where we can edit our panel message. You can choose the embed editor and alter the description. I'm just going to use basic copy for this. You can then alter what the button says and the icon at the bottom here, then alter the button text and then the button color. If you want a customer icon or emoji, simply go to discord, make sure you add it as a server emoji, then head to any channel and type a colon and the emoji name, select it and then go back to the start and add a backslash and then just press enter and then copy that message it gives you. You can then paste that into the button emoji section. Once you're happy, head back to the menu, click send and select your support channel and then send it. You'll see it will then send the panel to your discord and when you click the button it creates a ticket. If you want to add more options like reporting a user or inquiries or collaborations, we're simply going to clone our existing ticket but click rename and give it a different name. Then we're just going to alter the panel message and change the button name to report a user with a different icon. If you want to add another panel, we do the same thing we just did and then once you're ready, go to the main support ticket we made earlier but this time on the panel option, select all the different panels that you've made. Then just click send and select the channel and you'll see all the different buttons added to the same panel. So how could you turn this into a drop down menu rather than buttons? If you've done all the previous steps, just head over to the drop down style and enable select style. Then just resend the panel and it will appear as a drop down menu. To turn your tickets into a form however, it's going to be a little bit more work than that. I've recently released a free community called Discord Mastery which you can join now and it will help level up your Discord skills. We've got a bunch of live events, calls and it's your go to if you want a successful Discord server this year. Simply click the link in the description or go to thediscordmastery.com and I'll see you inside. Go to forms and then we're going to enable the top two options, then we're going to actually create our form. So make sure that the ticket you want the form for is selected at the top. So I'll do report user as a form. You're going to add a form title here and then below we can add our questions. Just pop a question title in along with a question placeholder and if you want to limit the length of the response, you can play around with these two options here. Make sure to tick if you want it required and if it's a long response, make it multi-line. You can add up to five different questions and then once you're happy, just resend your panel. You'll see when a user clicks a button, it will then open a form for the user to fill out before they can actually open a ticket. The results will then actually appear in the ticket once it's been opened. The last trick is a way of getting custom branding by linking with a bot called Sapphire. The only downside to this is that you're unable to use the form feature which we just created, which could be quite valuable for some, so Ticket Tool Premium might be your only option. If you haven't already added Sapphire, click the link in the description and add to Discord and select your server, accept all the permissions and it'll be inside. To start you want to copy the ID of your Sapphire bot. If you have the custom branding, make sure you copy the ID of that bot. If you don't see copy ID, make sure you have developer mode enabled, which you can find in user settings, advanced and then tick the top option. On Ticket Tools dashboard, go to server configs and post the ID in the bot section on the bottom right and then save those changes. Then we're going to head over to Sapphire's dashboard and select our server and go into the messages tab. We're going to create a ticket panel which we can completely customize so click a new template and then go to edit panel and then we're going to add our embed and fill in the information. 
To make it a bit easier, I'm going to link a pack which you can download for free from my project Discord Mastery with some raw embed code which I can now just copy and paste into the raw section like this. We then need to make some templates for the ticket commands. I'll be using the ones in the pack and doing three different tickets. We then just need to make some templates for the ticket commands and I'll be doing three different tickets. Again, I'll just use the code from the pack like this but do the same for my other two tickets, just changing the reason if needed. Then you can connect all of these together with the components. You can make a drop down menu or a set of buttons. Either will work, but I'll be doing buttons in this example. So you can create an action and then make sure that the action is to send a channel message and set that channel to your ticket log. What we're going to be doing is getting Sapphire to run a command every time someone clicks a button, Ticket Tool will then listen to that command and then create the ticket. You want to select the template to one of the ticket ones which we made earlier and do the same for all of your other tickets. If you want a drop down when you create a menu, add options for all your different tickets and then set the action as the button. Then go back to your templates and click the ticket panel and add the buttons or drop downs if you haven't already and set the action to those components that you just made. The last step for Sapphire is to just send that message and if you have custom branding you can use the send tab, select your channel and then post it in. If you don't have custom branding but want to use your own icon and name, go to the messages tab and click send command message. Click use webhook and pop a bot name and the icon into here. Then head to default messages and search for send message command. You then want to load the ticket panel template and then click save. Then hop into discord and in the channel you want the ticket panel, run the command s exclamation mark send one and it will then send the panel. Then you just remove the message above and below. The last thing we need to do is enable commands on ticket tool so that it can actually listen for this command. In the dashboard, go to panel configs and click command style. Enable the first two options and select the channel below as your ticket log. Make sure that you do this for all your different tickets so that it works properly. Also make sure that ticket tool can see the ticket log else it won't see Sapphire run the command. Just to show you the final result, when someone clicks a button, it will run a command in the ticket log and then open a ticket ping in the user. If you want to learn how you can set up onboarding for your Discord server in the most efficient way, then click the video on the screen now and hit the subscribe button for more Discord content.